Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about how I store vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. I got a question from Super Spice saying, I'm new to collecting lighters, said that he had been looking for something that would fit the mismatched sizes and keep them protected at the same time. But so far he had not been successful in doing that. In my view, there are a couple things. For one, you need to protect the lighter from other lighters that it's going to come into contact with. So, for me, when I'm storing the lighters that I have listed on eBay, those will all be in their own 2 by 3 inch bubble wrap envelope. So that way, as these are shuffled through, or looking through, sorting through, whatever you want to say, however you're coming into contact with them, they're not actually coming into contact with each other. That's important. Those are a very important part of my operation, having these small bubble wrap envelopes on hand because I use a lot of them. And especially if you had a large group of lighters, you know, you could just easily put a lighter in there tape it shut at the top, and then you're not gonna have to worry about whether or not it's coming into contact with anything else. Now, when I ship these lighters out, they're gonna be much more protected than that. They're gonna be uh, double bubbled, already have a Ziploc inside of there most likely, then double bubble enveloped, and then inside of another Ziploc. But, the question was how I store them. And for me, that is the most important part uh, for storing them is protecting them from each other. But the other aspect is that you don't want what you are storing them in to be able to cause damage either. So while I will sometimes, just while I'm working in a um, container like this, I will maybe just set one here that isn't been bagged or put in a bubble envelope yet. Well, as long as there isn't another lighter there for that to bump into, this plastic container isn't going to be any danger to the finish of most metal lighters. They're not gonna get a ding or a dent from falling over inside of this plastic container. On top of the fact that lighters can scratch each other, I also don't know how different finishes might interact with each other. Some of the celluloid wraps, um, other plastic seems to break down over time. I have come into contact with an enameled lighter or two that seem to have interacted with some plastic from another lighter. I wouldn't swear by that. That's just something that I think may be a possibility. So I think it's always good to basically give them their own little envelope where you don't have to worry about anything scuffing it, scratching it, coming into contact with the metal or any painted finish or like I said, plastics or whatever else might be involved. Anything that might interact with each other. If you have it in its own envelope, then that's not going to occur. These containers that you see in the background, these were bought at Harbor Freight Tool. They're very inexpensive, maybe four or five dollars a piece, I think. I use them not only for the lighters, but because they are modular, you can pull these 
separators out and create different size compartments. I also use that for the bigger stuff. So the ashtrays, the other useful mechanisms and all that kind of stuff, they fit in there as well. For carrying things around for the projects that I have going on, what's traveling back and forth from the place here in Mesta Park over to the studio in Deep Deuce, I use this other container, which is, I think it was the same brand. It was also bought at Harbor Freight. And you can see I keep those separated. The individual lighters are bubble wrapped or bubble enveloped. That's the camel that we just removed the sticker on the other day. And so it's okay because of this plastic container and having this other lighter envelope. That's why this morning before I left, I just put this one in there, travel fine. So these kind of containers are very versatile, very useful, and you really can't go wrong. There may be some other modular kind of container that would work just as well, but I haven't run across it. So my experience had been somewhat like yours. I hadn't been able to find anything. And it back in 2017, when I started down this entire path, I don't know, I might have looked for a few months, but I found these fairly early. There are definitely more expensive options if you are collecting something like Zippos, where it's an exact size. There are all kinds of options for you to store Zippos in. But, like I said, this is sort of my solution for how I carry things back and forth where I need them to go. They're good, sturdy containers that don't cost a whole lot. And at the same time, there's plenty of room for you to adjust. Every now and then, you'll have a lighter that'll be too tall, but you got different heights here on the handle. So usually it can be accommodated just by making sure that you are in line with one of these compartments that does not contain the handle. Very inexpensive and versatile solution to storing your lighters and other similar items. I have bought these bubble wrap envelopes at different times on both Amazon and eBay. The last batch was on Amazon the little plastic Ziploc baggies that I use, I get from Hobby Lobby. Until next time.